After having been in the show business and uh, I realized that there was really something that's really meant for me after my life in the showbiz world. But ever since I came back, because as soon as we left showbiz and then we went to uh, the province in order to be able to continue my mission for the Lord. Because right after I had the dream about uh, the truth that really burst from the sky and all of a sudden I was really confused. What was that for? And that's when I decided that I really had to get away from show business and then we had to go to the province and then continue my journey in order to serve God and in order to give all my testimony about what had appeared in my dreams and visions. But of course, we cannot just avoid the, uh, the works of the devil as well. Because it's time that the devil knows that somebody is really trying to change her life. And especially, I became very, very in, uh, inspirational and spiritual person. Because I really wanted to share whatever I had in my dreams. And that's when... A lot of challenges came and distracted me to the point where I have lost everything. I had lost all my businesses right there. I had lost also my mother. And that was the time that I began to realize that what was really going on in my life at that moment. Until... It came to the point where we were also we were in trouble and then we had a uh, misunderstanding with somebody right there. And it so happened that he was a uh, brother of a certain politician in the province. So we were left with no choice but we had to come back here and then continue the show business. But as I was on my way to uh, fame again, and then I was distracted by another experience in my dream where God was talking to me. It was very dark. I was actually walking towards... A big building and all of a sudden I could actually go through a wall so I mean to say I was walking like a spirit and all of a sudden I saw this full darkness and all I could hear at that point was the voices of God and that's when he told me that I really had to concentrate on whatever he wanted me to do. I wasn't really aware of that point, what was really the mission that he really wanted me to do. All I wanted was just to get back to showbiz, to get back to work. And I managed to get back to where I was really working. But, uh, but then I uh, was distracted again by having this controversy against the Terde. And then the rest is history. So I had learned that each time that I wanted to go in a different direction, or each time that I really wanted to, do another kind of job or anything that could actually help me out instead of going back to show business but things just became so difficult i'm just so lucky because i have invested some money 
to Kenya and right now I'm enjoying the profit so I really don't need to go and find a hard I mean find really hard to uh, look for a job but it's something that I can actually concentrate on what God really wants me to do and that's what I'm doing right now well on the other side I just didn't want to waste my time either and that's the reason why I really had to come up with what am I going to do on the side and that's the reason why I came up with the solution about beauty products there's a lot of people I know that they had problems in terms of their skin and they also have problems in terms of going out there without having to put some makeup on so for me it's really not the makeup that makes you really beautiful but it is the thing that's coming from within and then we should be aware that the spirit within us is God and so it each time that it comes out that's when we realize that wow I am beautiful God had made us beautiful none of us is not we may look different from each other but everybody for him he created us in his likeness so it means to say we are all beautiful as far as his creation is concerned so we have to be very very thankful for what we got how we look like we don't even have to feel that we are intimidated or we are very very insecure about how we look sometimes because we tend to see other people who really look different from others but for me I just want you to know that everybody is beautiful and each of us as equal as anybody else because we are the body of Christ and Christ is our head he is our father and he is the head of our family and all of us belongs to God we are God yes I am God you are God because the spirit who lives in us is God we are the creations of God we are the children of God we were made by God and we were made in order to serve God.